There was a study which said that if you watch porn before a workout, you would increase your testosterone and be more likely to hit a one rep max in the lift. There's better ways to increase your testosterone which doesn't fry your dopamine and make you feel like a loser. And so I wanted to give you some of like these fast wins that you can feel today. So whatever time you're watching this video, within the next few hours, you'll get a boost to your testosterone, which will just make the rest of today better. And if you really like the effect, then you can just start doing this as a daily habit. One of them is a very simple one, which a lot of guys are struggling with these days. And it's just flirting, flirting with women. So. It's been shown that if you have just a few minutes of a conversation with a woman that you deem attractive, your testosterone will shoot up by like 50, 70%. You can imagine why, but if you really just use your common sense, why does your testosterone go up after you've just flirted and spoke with a woman? Well, because your body's getting ready to have sex. And not only that, your body's getting ready to have sex, but it's also getting ready to maybe defend yourself and maybe fight other guys who also want this girl as well. It's a very primal feeling. So flirt more with women there's a lot of like the fear that a lot of guys have which is you know it's come from that sort of me too movement of girls and you know you've seen those videos online where like a guy will approach a girl in the gym and she'll start like shouting or something and she'll you know tell him to look away or something and th these videos go viral but honestly in the real world like when you actually step outside of the internet the truth is that like you can flirt with women and, and you won't actually get like a bad rejection. Any guy who's actually like, you know, spoke to a lot of women and cold approach, then dated and had sex, he'll tell you that like 99.999 times of the, of times when you get rejected are absolutely fine. The girl hasn't been recording you and posting you anywhere. It's like that stuff doesn't really happen in the modern day. So how to use this practically, let's say right now you're commuting to work as you listen to this, or maybe you're about to go to school or maybe you're in the gym right now. Literally just go up and speak to a woman. The conversation doesn't need to start with some kind of cringe pickup line because I find that that actually makes it harder. You can go up and just ask a simple question just to start the conversation because that's obviously the hardest part. This is just turning into like a Hamza's cold approach uh, guide, which I'll, I'll give you a good tip because obviously I, I really think this is powerful, but a lot of guys are quite scared to speak to women, which is very sad because like that's, that's honestly like, your primal like human right to be able to speak to the person next to you. That is like an absolute human right. So the way that I would do this, you just go up and, and ask a very basic question, which is like completely asexual. So you're in the gym, there's a girl there and you walk up to her and just say, yo, excuse me, what time does this gym close by the way? That's it. And it sounds silly because that's not flirting, but it's just to like open up your mouth and kind of warm you up to saying something. And then with that, you can see if she's receptive, if she like doesn't even take off her headphones, if she, you know, she looks at you a little bit, whatever. If she like stops and she, oh, and she's like, you know, proper smiling, she's holding your eye contact. That gives you more of a space for you to like smile as well. And, and you know, say whatever you want to say after that, however your, your flirting game is. But with deep gaze, full breath, you'll find that you don't really need like riz or game or pickup lines or anything like that. If you are a man and she is a woman and you have masculine energy and she has feminine energy, just by you breathing fully next to her and holding her eye contact, that's more than any pickup line could ever be. You will get a tremendous testosterone boost if you just get into a conversation with a woman and just make sure you're still breathing. That's probably the biggest part of this, which like no pickup artist has ever spoke to you about, no red pill guy ever speaks to you about. The most important part of flirting with women, getting this testosterone boost, but just in general of just you know spending time with women is making sure that you're still breathing fully. When you stop breathing fully because you kind of went AFK and you know you're getting a little bit nervous, that's when everyone can feel that you aren't powerful that's when she gets turned off when you breathe fully and you let your stomach bulge like a fat king that's when you display such a, a an immense level of power that triggers everyone's subconscious no one's looking at your stomach thinking oh man is he is he breathing or not but people pick up on this this is one of the ways that a woman will see like if you are nervous speaking to her she will just like without knowing she's doing this she will notice that you've started to hold your breath so go flirt with some women speak to some women in school in in work on the public transport in the gym the waitress whatever it is and just make sure you're breathing fully the second fast win that i can get you today is to do the workout for testosterone 
this is something that we're now teaching inside of Adonis School because in my program, just quick plug, in my program, we have a, a testosterone teacher. So if you're really interested in this, you want to get girls, you want to start to attract like your beautiful feminine wife, you want to increase your testosterone, feel more like a man, you want to become a superior man. Adonis School is my program for that, which is, I, I really like it. So you can join that, learn from me, learn from our coaches and uh, join the community and, and improve your life as a man. The second way then is the testosterone workout. So not many people actually speak about this, but there's a workout routine that has been shown to have a significant improvement to testosterone. Most workout routines are actually decreased testosterone. You know, like the bro split you've been on, the push pull leg split, all of that like normal workouts. All of that actually slightly reduces testosterone till you sleep and you recover. But there's a few workouts which have been shown to actually have like a big impact. And they are specifically six sets of 10 reps. So you can go and look, there's an Andrew Huberman podcast that I'm taking this from. So, you know, they've done all the science research, but it's Andrew Huberman and he sat with some guy who works at UFC and the UFC guy told him, this is like the experiments they've run and this is the best workout for testosterone. Six sets of 10 reps of a compound movement, like a big movement, and that's it. You go home after that. So if you just care about testosterone, you go in to the gym, you do your little, you know, your stretches, you do a little bit of a warm up. let's say it's push day, right? It's chest and triceps. And you literally just do six sets of, so six sets of 10 reps of bench press, or maybe you, you prefer incline press, or maybe you prefer, you know, overhead shoulder press. Let's say you, you prefer like chest dips, right? Six sets of 10 reps. And you want every set to be at an RPE of eight. Like it's 80% of your absolute max. Does that make sense? So we're gonna do 10 reps. And on the 10th rep, you really want it to be that you maybe could have like squeezed out with absolute war, maybe about one or two more reps. So if we say 10 out of 10 intensity, it's like that moment where, you know, when you're doing push ups and you kind of like drop to the floor and you do another one and you, it lit, that last rep literally takes you like five seconds, six seconds, eight seconds to get up. That's 10 out of 10 intensity. So you can imagine eight out of 10 intensity is what we're aiming for. That's still where like it, the last rep, like you, you have this like little stop up there you have to like stop for a few seconds and you're pushing you're pushing and you're like uh, and you know your form slightly breaks down a bit and you push like one side a little bit first you know it's, it's not like totally unhealthy or dangerous like you know your, your form slows down when you're really pushing hard that's eight out of ten intensity so about 80 percent of your capacity for every set with two minutes rest break in between every set and if you need to which will happen for a lot of people you decrease some of the weight for every set to make sure you can hit the 10 reps with 80% intensity. So let's say with squats, for example, it's leg day, you go in, you're just gonna do six sets of 10 reps of squats. You do your warm up, you set up your weight, six, uh, you, you do the first set, 10 reps, and you stop it, you think, okay, 10, I could probably do like two more, you know, you're grunting, thinking, okay, if I do two more, I'd probably drop to the floor. So you rack it there, 10 reps. Then you wait two minutes. And if you think to yourself right now, you know intuitively thinking, you know what? If I didn't know the, know the 10 reps of this weight, that would actually be failure. That, that last, rap, last rep would be failure. If that's the case, what we wanna do is keep the same level of in, intensity, but we just wanna decrease some of the weight. So a big part of making muscle and a big part of training to increase your testosterone is to not be loyal to the weight that you use. We don't actually, like, like as guys who just wanna get in shape and as guys who just wanna increase testosterone, the weight that you use should like it should be something you don't really care about. You know those big fat power lifters like the guys on on Reddit who ask you for your squat one rep max and shit. Those guys who've got stiff hand slings and everything. They care about that shit. But for us young guys who just want to be masculine, who want to get testosterone, who want to be in shape, the weight that you use can actually be a curse. This can be like a separate video, but I just want to rant a bit just for the fitness community. Just because so many guys place such an emphasis on like the one rep max and you know what weight they're using today. Okay, eighty two point five kg bench press and you know if they don't hit that they get upset to make muscle you don't actually have to care about the weight you use it's literally just about like the intensity and whether or not you're close to failure so the idea is that if you feel like you can't hit 10 reps on one of these sets just decrease the weight and it's absolutely fine in fact that's exactly what the UFC guy that was speaking to Andrew Huberman that's exactly what he said is that they'll adjust the load to make sure that the same intensity can be hit specifically with 10 reps you do six sets of those 10 reps with two minutes rest break and then you literally go home 
So this is what maybe one of the hardest parts for a lot of us guys who, you know, working quite hard. You'll do six sets of 10 reps, which literally will take probably about, what, what do you think, probably about 20 minutes? Yeah, tw it, it takes me about 20 minutes, right? And then specifically, you go home after that to maximize the testosterone from a workout routine. You do those six sets and you go home. It's so easy to start thinking like, oh, but bro, what, you know, what about neck? What about calves? What about biceps? And you know, you're adding in the small muscles. If you just want to prioritize testosterone, you do this protocol and you don't change it. The way that I use this uh, protocol when I really care about testosterone is I'll do the six sets by 10, you know, on the big heavy compound movement. So I'll do, for example, chest dips, six sets, 10 reps, then I'll go home, right? That's once. Then a few days later, I'll do it for legs and I'll do six sets of 10 reps. I use leg press instead. I just find, like, it's just, this is, a, again, a separate topic, but maybe you're interested. I actually, I think leg press and squat are very, very similar. Of course, there's a few differences, but I just think that leg press, you're able to push harder because one, it's safer, and two, it's literally 10 times easier to set up the weight. With squats, the, the warm-up itself takes like 15 minutes. When you're putting on the weight, you grab the plate, put it on, okay, that's one uh, one plate each side, then you put on two plates, then you put on like the five, you know what I mean? It, it takes a while to build up to your squat weight and everything. Whereas with the leg press machine, not even the plate-loaded one, literally the machine, they're like, like grandmas use if it goes up to enough weight like 300 kilograms all you have to do is just take the pin out and put it in that's it my warm-up takes me literally about 30 seconds on leg press it takes me 15 minutes on squats so i prefer the leg press. i think it still has the same kind of benefits so i'll do six sets of 10 reps it takes 20 minutes boom you're done you go home after that then i would say you do two workouts per week of the testosterone ones one's for upper so maybe three sets for push three sets for back so this is exactly what the workout routine will look like three sets bench press 10 reps three sets of pull-ups 10 reps that's your upper workout done for testosterone you go home after that three four days later you come in and you do your leg testosterone workouts six sets of 10 reps of squats or leg press or whatever big leg movement you want to do, done. That's your like testosterone workout done. Then you come in on a separate day to do an accessory workout and you do at least one of those per week and maybe you do up to like three of those per week depending on how important like muscle is to you right now. So for example, if, if I don't really care about muscle right now, my big focus is really on my business, I'll just do like one accessory workout and I'll do like um, neck and maybe some like forearm stuff and calves and tibialis raises and you know, like those random stretches that you do and everything like um, lateral delts, you know, some muscles which aren't gonna be hit with big compound movements done. If I care more about muscle and I'm really in the mood of training, then I'll do two sessions of those accessory workouts per week. Everyone who's inside of Adonis School gets like my updated workout routines, this testosterone workout. And I'm also releasing a full guide to testosterone on the main channel to so just look out for that because that'll be like hours long. One more testosterone tip. I didn't plan to give three, but let me give you one more. Sunlight is quite important. So there was a study done in Israel which found that when people go and sit in sunlight for 30 minutes, three times a week, so a total of 90 minutes per week, they had a significant increase in testosterone and they also significantly ended up having more sex because their libido skyrocketed. So this is just a very easy way to just try and get some more tea. Just be in the sun more often and try to like expose as much of your skin as possible. So I'll sunbathe naked every place that I stay in, in like these hot countries. I'll literally sit outside butt naked and just go on my phone with it. Like, you know, you might be scared. Like, oh, what if someone looks, you know, what if someone's walking past? Or what if like, you know, someone like, obviously it's a private villa, but like, just forget the fear and just do it. Obviously, if you live at home, you're probably not going to do this in the back garden whilst your mom's cooking dinner. But just go out in like shorts. Like I'm just wearing like little shorts here. Just go out in shorts and just like expose your bare skin, your, your chest, everything. This is where everyone copes. This is where a lot of guys, I can imagine like British guys and everything, just having like this little, little fucking sad modern boy energy. But like, but there's not a lot of sun in the country that I'm in. Like, just shut up and just do it anyway, bro. Like, is it perfectly sunny right now? Like, not, not exactly. There's some clouds covering the sky. I'm in Bali right now. But even in UK, this is something that it's common sense, but people don't, don't understand. If you can see outside like you know when you open up your fucking eyes in the morning and you've just been sleeping and it's daylight outside and you can see outside there's sunlight 
that you don't actually have to have direct, you know, like yellow, orange, beautiful sunlight hitting you. If you can literally see outside, that is sunlight, and it's a lot more powerful than you think. To sit in that kind of environment, you know, to see it with your eyes in the morning, as Huberman says, and to take off your shirt and to get it directly on your skin, then you realize the sun is a lot more powerful than you realize. So if you can see outside, that's still sunlight. So if you weren't a pussy, no offense, but like, let's say if I wasn't a pussy and I was still in the UK and it wasn't very bright, it was maybe even raining a bit, I would still discipline myself to just sit outside in my underwear for like literally 30 minutes a day. Why not? If testosterone means a lot to you and also just health in general, being outside and experiencing the elements as they are is very important. And if you can get some like direct light as I'm getting now, you can see that there isn't actually like, it, it looks kind of bright, but there isn't actually like actual like, like sun rays, you know, the orange kind of rays on me right now. Maybe that'll happen. It seems like it's coming now in like, let me just show you like the, um, there. See, that's like the full on like orange sunlight, but it's not here just yet. But this is still beneficial. Me being sat here right now is still beneficial for my testosterone. So those are three fast ways you can get some T boost like literally today. And hopefully you'll, you'll feel the difference within a few hours after you hit the workout or you flirt with the girl or you just feel some of the sunlight and you can use that for like your business to compete and make more muscle. If you want to join Adonis School, that's the top link in the description. Go click that right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.